Okay, I'm back with Valentine Disaster because I try decided to try to go for another ending. Hi, I'm Selena. I work as a chef at a very popular gourmet restaurant. With my anxiety, I sometimes wonder how I managed to get a job, but cooking is all I know how to do after all. Cooking has always been my passion, and I used it to impress a girl once. I was nine year old I was nine years old when I fell mega hard for the prettiest girl at school. It was love at first sight the moment I saw her smile. One day she invited me to her birthday party. It was nothing special since she invited all the other girls in class, but it was a big deal to me. I was determined to make her the best birthday gift ever. A gift that would make me stand out from all the other girls. So I made her strawberry crepes. She loved them so much that she devoured them all in one sitting, leaving herself too full to eat her birthday cake. We were inseparable after that day. Every day at lunchtime, we sat together and she would always beg me to make her strawberry crepes. I made whatever she wanted, just to see her happy face. I vowed I would become the best chef for her. That girl Amy is now my girlfriend. We started dating in high school after the day I asked her to a Valentine's Day dance. The years flew by and despite the changes we've gone through, Amy is still the one I love. And with Valentine's Day coming up tomorrow, I have plans to make Amy the most delicious Valentine's Day present. <sighs> oh, Amy is up early in the kitchen. Selena stopped in her tracks. She gazed at Amy sitting alone by the table with a bowl of cereal. A heavy frown descended on Amy's rosy lips as she hurriedly wiped her eyes, but despite her efforts, her cheeks were still flushed with tears. Amy? Amy made no move to look at Selena. The spoon slipped from Amy's grip, splashing droplets of milk on the table. She picked up her spoon again, stirring her cereal aimlessly. Maybe Amy didn't hear me. Or is she ignoring me? Is she mad at me? What should I say? Why are you up so early? Don't you usually sleep in with me on weekends? Oh wait, I skipped like half of that I think. Why are you up so early? Don't you usually sleep in with me on weekends? Amy shifted uncomfortably in her chair, avoiding Selena's gaze. Mmm. I just felt a little hungry and couldn't go back to sleep. Selena stared at Amy's cereal which grew soggy from being soaked in milk for almost an hour. Looks like Amy didn't even eat. Did she not want cereal? Want me to make you breakfast? No thank you. I'm not really hungry anymore. Not even strawberry crepes? Amy shook her head indifferently. It's rare for Amy to turn down strawberry crepes. It's her favorite thing in the whole wide world. I need to cheer her up. Selena wrapped her arms around Amy's- Oh, I accidentally skipped it. Selena wrapped her arms around Amy's neck, kissing her head softly. She buried her nose into Amy's sweet golden locks of hair, inhaling the pleasant smell of jasmine shampoo. Aren't you excited for Valentine's Day tomorrow? Mmm. Amy abruptly pushed her chair back, breaking off Selena's embrace. Amy? The rejection stung more than Selena expected as if she was slapped across the face. Amy had never pushed her away before. I'm feeling tired. I'm going back to bed. Selena helped to watch Amy carry her bowl to the sink, dumping out the rest of her cereal. Amy, wait. Right when Selena was about to grab Amy's arm, the blonde whisked out of the kitchen, leaving her to grab thin air. <sighs> I don't know what I did wrong, but I can't ruin Valentine's Day. I better give Amy the best Valentine's gift. Jesus, I better give Amy the best Valentine's Day gift to cheer her up. I was thinking about making Amy the most ro romantic, delicious dessert ever. I should look at my new recipe book. Ooh. Recipes for romance. Exquisite recipes to woo your bae. So I went for a strawberry shortcake last time. I'm trying to go for a different ending. Maybe the strawberry bouquet or cherry truffles? Uh, I want to save here just in, make, in case I make a mistake. Some of these were test saves, so ignore them. But anyway, let's try the strawberry bouquet, I guess. A strawberry bouquet. I've always wanted to get any edible arrangements. Maybe this can be my chance. 
I only have wooden skewers and a few strawberries since Amy ate most of them. I'll need to buy strawberries, dark chocolate, and peanuts. Okay, strawberry, dark chocolate, peanuts. Uh, I'll need to buy strawberries, dark chocolate, and peanuts at the grocery store. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad to remember. Choose this recipe. Nothing can go wrong with a bouquet of chocolate covered strawberries. I think Amy will really love these. Well, uh, I already re oh, I never clicked the bolt. Moustache's dining table. She's a pretty spoiled cat. Come to think of it, Amy and Moustache have something in common. They're both spoiled princesses. Is there anything else I didn't click on? Um, I think I got every, ooh. The kitchen was originally going to have all blue stools, but Amy insisted to get a pink one because it's her favorite color. Can I click the book again? I'm making Amy strawberry bouquet. I need to buy strawberries, dark chocolate, and peanuts at the store. Okay, that's the only thing I didn't click then. Am I ready to leave my apartment? Yeah, I guess. Grocery shopping, here I come. Okay. Hey, hun. Fancy seeing you here before Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, I got some Valentine's Day plans. How are things going, Marilyn? Everything is fine and dandy. How's your girl? Well, not too good. You two having a little spat? It's complicated. Don't worry, Amy will come around. She's a sweet gal. No way she'll stay mad at you for long, especially when you're her own personal chef. Anyway, I'll stop yapping. How can I help you? Uh, we need a dark chocolate. Selena bought dark chocolate. We need strawberries. Selena bought strawberries. And we needed peanuts. Selena bought peanuts. Thanks for shopping. What you making for Amy? A strawberry bouquet. Ooh, how fancy. Are you getting Amy flowers too? I probably should, huh? I forgot all about it. Any gal appreciates flowers. I heard Morino Yuri is having a flower sale. I'll go check it out. I don't know what Morino Yuri means, but I wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Marilee. Okay, so we just go to the thing. Hi, welcome to Mumbles. Would you Mumbles? Excuse me, I can't hear what you said. The shopkeeper's cheeks turned to beet red, tinged with embarrassment as she laughed shyly. Uh, sorry. Welcome to the floral shop. W would you be interested in buying some flowers? We have a special Valentine's Day sale for uh, bouquets. I was so caught up on the recipe that I didn't even think about flowers. I have $17 left. I think I'll be interested. The shopkeeper beamed with excitement, her cheeks glowing redder. Uh, from what I'm seeing, more in a year means forest lily. I don't know if that's true, but anyway, uh, I know quite a lot about flowers. I can guide you if you have any questions. Thanks, I can count on you. Let's go with this one this time, I guess. Red camellias are exotic boulder flowers that mean mumbles, mumbles. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Um, you're a flame in my heart. I mean, that's what camellias mean. Don't worry, I got you. Um, would you like to buy camellias? Yes. Selena bought red camellias. Thank you. Have a nice day. Home sweet home. Time to start cooking. First, you need to pick out all the ingredients needed for the strawberry bouquet recipe. Okay, so it was just the dark chocolate, the strawberries, the skewers, and the peanuts. And that was it. Am I done selecting all the ingredients to cook with? See, I thought when melting chocolate like that, you have to use milk and stuff in it too. Or cream to like make a ganache. I forget what you use, either milk or cream. Two hours later, rich dark chocolate smothered each juicy sweet strawberry sprinkled with salty crushed peanut. Crushed peanuts, not just peanut. That'd be weird, just one peanut. The strawberry bouquet is making me drool. Amy is going to love these. Time to check if Amy is awake. I wanted to give her her gift early to cheer her up. Damn. The door is still locked. Amy? Amy really did fall asleep. Guess I'll wait till she wakes up. Hours later. 
<gasps> I can't believe I fell asleep on the couch. What time is it? Selena frantically rolled up her sleep, glancing at her watch. Midnight. I seriously swept the day away? Amy. Selena jumped up from the couch like a happy puppy, nearly stumbling to the bedroom door. Amy. Amy gazed timidly at Selena, her shoulders slumped low. Selena? Amy bit her lip, quickly looking down to stare at her pink slippers. I have a surprise for you. A surprise? Come with me to the kitchen. Selena moved closer to Amy, gently grabbing her hand to lead her away. Happy Valentine's Day. Is that for me? Ooh, they do look good though. Yep, I made you the strawberry bouquet. I hope you like them. They look delicious. You should try them right now. Selena's heart pounded as she watched Amy gingerly pick up a chocolate covered strawberry. Amy stuffed it in her mouth. Amy spat out the chocolate covered strawberry on her hand. Her face crinkled with disgust. Ew, it's so bitter. And I don't like peanuts. Oh, I used dark chocolate. I forgot you didn't like peanuts. They look so good, but I don't like how they taste. I'm sorry, I can't eat them. Well, we screwed that up. I feel really bad. It's okay, Amy. I don't want to force you to eat something you don't like. Anyway, it's my fault they suck. I'll make you better ones next time. Hmm. I really screwed up. Can a flower save me? I have something else to give you. Selena fidgeted nervously with the bouquet of camellias behind her. She shut the flowers toward Amy, avoiding her surprised gaze. See, when chocolate covered strawberries like that, I thought the sweetness of the strawberries was supposed to balance out with the dark chocolate. Because if you don't like dark chocolate, and if you don't like peanuts, since that was only two of the three ingredients, it's going to ruin it. <laughs> A deep blush covered Amy's cheeks as she took the flowers in her hands. Camellias? Selena blushed as she rubbed her head with embarrassment. You are the one that lights up my heart. My soulmate. Uh, sorry that came out so corny. Amy giggled as she buried her nose into the soft crimson petals. Anyway, I just wanted to give you flowers that weren't roses this year. Thank you, Selena. The flowers are so beautiful. You give me roses every year, so I'm really happy to get something different. Um, Selena. Tears brimmed in the corner of Amy's eyes. Her hands trembled as she clutched the flowers. Amy? Are you okay? Amy threw her arms tightly around Selena's neck, burrowing into her chest. Warm tears dripped into Selene, onto Selena's neck, slowly soaking her clothes. Soft whimpers escaped Amy's mouth as she cried. Amy, why are you crying? Was your present that bad? Half of it was, I guess. Amy sniffled as her lower lip trembled. Uh, of course I like my present. I... I thought you were cheating on me. Because of the cake in the fridge? What, what? Me, you of all people? I thought you made that cake for me. But it was from someone else to you. What cake? The cake in the fridge. Oh, I didn't even notice the sheeps on her uh, outfit before. That understands why she asked for sheeps from the uh, claw machine in the last part. The cake in the fridge. Oh, Dimitri bought me that cake. He gives all his friends sweets every Valentine's Day. You know he's my best friend. Why would he give a cake like that? Does he like you? No, not at all. He's gay. Oh. Huh. Selena chuckled, shaking her head at this silly misunderstanding. Thankfully, it wasn't anything serious. Selena wrapped her arms around Amy's waist, pulling her closer. She gently brushed off a stray tear on Amy's beautiful face. You know, I'll never cheat on you. I don't want anyone else. Amy is also the only person that could put up with my anxiety. Sometimes I wonder if I wasn't a good cook if she'd still fall in love with me. Thank you, Selena. This is the sweetest Valentine's Day gift ever. A grin tugged the corners of Selena's lips. She entwined her fingers with Amy's and they were lost in each other's eyes and silence. Things were not way better than Selena expected. Safe ending. Okay, so we did get a different ending like I wanted. Anyway, time for the credits, so I'll shut up. So that was kind of like the neutral ending, I think, because we didn't go to the movies or the claw machine. Basically, we didn't get a present back, but we kind of gave one present she liked, then one she didn't, I guess. Which I didn't know she wasn't going to like the strawberries. I just knew she liked strawberry. I didn't know the other parts. Anyway, goodbye for now. I guess I'll try to get the third ending, though, since I already got two. Might as well go for the third.